The City Center Financial Post Show, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's get it in. Give them the details about City Center before we start talking here. Hey, man, go check out my man, Sam, over at City Center Financial. You can reach out to him at GoCityCenter.com. That's GoCityCenter.com. He'll help you out with any type of refinancing on a home that you already own. If you want to get a new home, he'll help you out with that. If you want to get a second home, he can help you out with all the particulars with that. Make sure you're pointed in the right direction. Make sure you have all the information that you need. He's going to take care of you, hands down. I can guarantee you that. So check out my man, Sam, over at City Center Financial at GoCityCenter.com. I've been meaning to tell you all week. Yo, I watched The Rocks movie. uh, Jungle Cruise. Yes. Okay. It is dope. Really? It's a really good movie. Like, I loved it. I watched it Sunday night Mm. while you were uh, trapped in Phoenix. (laughs) I I was, uh, I got home and... I was, you know, wasn't, wasn't nothing happening on Sunday night. So I was like, yo, this movie's on Disney Plus. You had to buy it. Uh-huh. But, you know, I, I made some popcorn, little little McQueen in the Violet Fog gin. Okay. Yo, it was a really good movie. Like, not, not like my rock bias good yeah. movie, but like it was a legit good movie. Well, I'm going to have to watch Jungle Cruise. I know Reese has been talking about it, so uh, he hasn't watched it. So I'm saying we... He's been saying, hey, Jungle Cruise is out. Da, da, da. I might have to sit down and watch that thing. No, nah, it's worth it. Watch that thing. It's worth it. It's worth it. It costs mm-hmm. a couple bucks on, on Disney Plus, but it's absolutely worth it. I thought it I thought it was great. Okay. I really enjoyed it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm I'm ready to I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to dive into that. Get at this it, man. It's crazy. I, I don't have anything going on tomorrow, I don't think. It's for the first time in a few weeks. There hasn't been nothing going on on a Saturday. Next Saturday, we got something going on. We got a few things going on. We got a jamboree for soccer next weekend. Okay. Yeah. So there's that. Then the 21st is going to be Manny Pacquiao, uh, Errol Spence. Going to be watching that. And then the following Saturday, I don't think nothing's going on. But Sunday, I'm going to be trying to go to that Niners Raiders game. So we're going to see what happens to all this stuff. We, we got something. When, next when week. yeah, we got something next week. When's the Manny Pacquiao fight? The week after? Yeah. Okay. August is just booming yeah, right August now. August is crazy. August is busy, man. August is busy. I saw the alert come in from HBO about Suicide Squad. I don't remember watching the first one, but I don't for some reason. I thought, oh, I know why. Idris Alba's in it. That's why I was like, oh, I'll watch this. He's in I the think, second one? Not in the yeah. first one. Okay. Nah, Will Smith is in the first one, and I think I watched pieces of it. But I don't. I think it was Will Smith is in that, right? I didn't. I don't get it. Like it's. I think it's a. Is, is that a Marvel movie or a? D, it's a. It's a comic book movie. Yeah, yeah. I I I didn't see the first one, and I now remember how Will Smith was in there. Um, isn't my girl in there? Uh, what's her name? Margaret Margaret something. She played in The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, I don't know. She's the what's what they call the Queen, the Princess of Duchess, or what? What is she? Margaret Robbie, yeah, she is in it. Yeah, did, did, did I see this right? Is John Cena's in it. Yes, he is. I don't know what he's doing in it, but he is. Yeah, it, Pete Davidson is in it. John Cena. Dun 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 dun. I didn't see what was going on with SmackDown last week. Viola Davis is in it. Let's go. Lit. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 in. Speaking of Will Smith, I don't did know you who see, Tanisha is, but <laughs> did you see um, director? Hello, director Tanisha. The, uh, did you see the trailer for the Robert Williams um, movie with the the Williams, the Venus, and Serena? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, looks, Will Smith is doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. Somebody said Will Smith is a really good actor, but he just it comes off as he's doing an impression when he does stuff like this and Ali and, and everything. And it, 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 like it's really impressive what he does mimicking them, but it's almost distracting because like you okay, you're mimicking them as opposed to you're just being this actor in this movie. 
but he did. Uh, I mean, I, I get it, I guess, but like Jamie Foxx won an Oscar for being Ray. Like Angela Bassett was nominated one for being for for, for being Tina Turner. Yeah, they did it once. Is it, I think it's because Will is it because they Will Smith one is time. Funny? Will Smith has done it what three? Jamie Foxx was Bundini Brown. Dude, but Jamie Foxx stole no, that he movie. Did, he stole he that did, movie he though. Good. He did good. He did good. No one in his movie. Though. Oh, he was he was better than good. He stole the movie. Like he was hilarious in it. He cracked me up. He do he talking about uh, oh, I'm I, I give her I give her the best 10 minutes of her life. No, that's a lie. I can't give it 10 minutes. I give her five good twos, though. <laughs> oh man, Jamie's funny. Hey, I know I'm probably in the minority here. Five good twos. Ali, just an okay movie. I, <sighs> I was really excited to see that movie. Saw it on Christmas Day. On I Christmas think there Day. are points where it dragged a little bit. There are points where it dragged a little bit. And, I just, and it, everybody did a good job. Like Will did a good job. You mentioned Jamie Foxx. Everybody did good. There was nothing bad about it. It was just like the writing of the movie, like not the script. I just I think there are some parts that dragged. There were some parts that didn't need to be there. There were some parts that were good for too long. Um but I still liked it. But yeah, I, yeah, it was, I still it's cool. Liked it. I can't remember the last time I watched it though. But I, once again, I'm not. I'm the wrong person. Jada was I'm not a big. It. I'm not a big movie. It's watching. long. I don't know why yeah. people feel like they got to make these movies so damn long too. Well, what the, that, I think that was one of the pro, that, that 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 was probably that was the only thing about Space Jam that I was like, Ugh, what are we doing? You know, I saw like two back hours. It. It's like two hours long. It was like I think it might have been it over two hours. Long. Like what? No, like well, this is for kids. Like, like stop this. This is goofy. <laughs> yeah, I um, I have I still haven't gone back and watched it yet. Yeah, I watch it. I like it. Yeah. Oh, I just clicked on one of my tabs. Let me get back to LeBron flop compilation. Oh, I still got. Yeah, I still got mine. I, see. I still got mine. Pulled up. <laughs> I think this is the Paul George one. <clears throat> no, this is Danny Granger. Tyson Chandler. Tyson oh Chandler. yeah, the, the back screen. Get, get the f up, man. <laughs> get, get up, LeBron. Oh my neck, my back, my <laughs> neck and my back. Oh, oh, Bron. Oh man, Bron is hurt. Woo, he's he. Oh, he's fighting through the pain. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's fighting I through the pain. I the Paul George one. That is crazy. That is on par with. Um, uh, the, one of my all time favorites when, uh, what's his name? Um, Pat Bev and James Harden. That one is, Oh that's yeah. yeah that's one. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. This oh LeBron man. LeBron, LeBron reacting like he was in a car accident in this back pick with Tyson Chandler. Oh no. Oh, down goes Braun. Down goes Braun. Man, this dude is something. <laughs> this dude is something. can i tell you can i tell you something about lebron that that jesse pointed out that i think he was 100 percent right about and it kind of takes away from it a little bit mm. lebron at the indians game mm. i don't think uh savannah was smoking i do think she was oh i eating. think she was eating yeah but it was too funny to change it that day. No, I think she was eating. J Jesse told me Santa Claus doesn't exist. Yeah, no, I absolutely think she was eating. <laughs> for, for multiple reasons, <laughs> I just don't believe LeBron is that dumb. Two, it looked like she, like, I didn't see, it didn't look like she was doing yeah, like that. It looked, it looked like, like she was doing, yeah. but it was way too funny to not just roll. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just roll. Roll with the bitch. LeBron with the. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but what made it funny is that, like, she stopped chewing and froze. And LeBron said something to her. Like, yeah. On TV. Yeah. No, it like if you if you want to believe that she was smoking weed, you absolutely can. But when you really look at it, it's like, oh, no, she's <laughs> she's clearly eating. She's clearly eating. <laughs> yeah like it was a great like it would have been such a downer at the end of the you know stream if we were like yeah no like i'll write it out it's funny oh, it's yeah, funny. Some good stuff it's, that's like saying hulk hogan and macho man are friends when the mega powers exploded don't <laughs> don't kill the, don't 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 kill don't kill kayfabe what'd you say what did you no he what did yeah, you heard just him say right. yeah heard him right damien 
Did you just say that was overrated? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, the slander of Macho Man by Jesse. You guys can't hear him, and you probably don't want to hear him. You know what's you know what's funny about the Macho Man Hulk Hogan angle? If it played out today the exact same way, Hogan would be the bad guy. Because it oh, absolutely sure. looks like Hogan is pushing up on Elizabeth for oh, like for a sure. year. Yeah. And finally, Macho Man's like, this. <laughs> Get away from my girl, man. What are you doing? You go back and you watch it now, it absolutely looks like back then they're like, ah. Oh. Macho Man's tripping. Yeah. What? How could he think that of Hogan? Hogan's just being nice. <laughs> meanwhile, there's only a, lived a little. <laughs> meanwhile, there's a slow motion shot of you know Hogan's hand on Elizabeth's ass. Like what? What is this? Like Hogan's the total heel. He out there snaking Elizabeth away. Man, jeez. Yeah, man. But Jesse, so you guys couldn't hear him. Jesse said. That whole angle was overrated. That's trash, dude. That's one of the best angles ever. And Absolutely. it played out long, played out over a year. Like that angle that started. Long term play. That that angle started with the handshake, with that big slow motion handshake on Saturday night's main event. Went to WrestleMania four, carried over to SummerSlam, Survivor Series. Like when you go back and you look, like you see stuff that you might not have seen when you were eight years old or seven years old mm -hmm. or whatever. You see at SummerSlam, Macho Man looks over and he he kind of stalls and he looks at Hogan like a little bit longer, but then he goes back and everything's normal. Survivor mm. Series, he's looking a lot longer. Like, yo, what are you doing? Mm. Royal Rumble comes around. Hogan's punk ass throws the Macho Man out. Oh, you see so <laughs> much more. <laughs> no. Hogan, you had lost it. They do that close-up promo. With Macho Man, eyes. you've got lust in your eyes, brother. I see it. <laughs> and the camera's like right in Macho Man's face, and he's he's dripping sweat. Oh, well, it's so well, good. Our guy, our guy Ace, I don't maybe this is one of the pay-per-views you're talking about, but they win a match, a tag team match, and Hogan goes to Elizabeth and picks her up and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. I think that's Survivor <laughs> Series. <laughs> yeah, and Hogan's got his or Macho Man's got his hands out like, "What are you doing?" And Elizabeth comes over and runs to him. But what you know what preceded that though? Elizabeth goes to Macho Man first, and Macho Man's almost like, "Like, like, get off me! Like, baby, yeah. not now! Like, I'm watching the game! Like, get off me!" <laughs> and she runs over, and then Macho, then Hogan picks her up. That's when Savage turns around and does the outstretched arms. Like, what are you doing? Yo. Who does that to their homie's girl? Oh, we won. Let me pick you up and swirl you around. And they thought Hogan was She crazy. was our manager, brother. She was the Mega Powers manager. <laughs> You've got lust in your eyes, brother. You've got lust for Elizabeth. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could see it in your eyes. Uh -huh. your, your macho man is A1. It is A1. Lust in your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> oh man that's what dude david facts <laughs> facts and the whole angle peaked in 1996 when hogan walked and who did hogan drop the leg on he dropped the leg on the macho man that was a that was a six year that was an eight year story arc <laughs> he walks out and drops the leg on the macho man Oh man! Hey Tim, happy birthday, buddy! I saw that popping up in the chat earlier, man. Tim, happy birthday. birthday! Hold on, bro. Appreciate it. Hey, 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 you know I got you. you, know got you. Lust yeah. in your eyes, uh huh? You know, I got a lot of things that I might Lust watch this week, and you know what? I might break down and watch. Not to watch wrestling they're telling five. me, and and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. Starting the office this weekend. I've got decks cleared. Cap, I'm dude. Good. Okay, you'll see. Mine. Yeah, okay. you'll see. Starting the oh. office this weekend, but so what just I remember, just it, one, you're lying. Two, there's some episodes that you just got to get through at the beginning. It gets really okay. good at the end of the season, but it's like the the first season is awkward. But it's okay. good. It's good. Okay, starting. But, I, but I'm I'm with Manny. I'm I'm. 
No. It's, 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 everybody it's not, knows. It's not like everybody movie. knows. It's everybody not like a knows. movie. It's a, it's it. I can Pete. start the office. I can watch two episodes and say I started the office. That's, he ain't that's seen nothing. It. I've heard it's great, but haven't seen it yet. Like I, I just hear people raving about it, but I haven't. I have not watched it. Uh, what I was gonna say is, I don't think I'm gonna get through the whole thing because it might be too painful. I'm gonna go back and watch the verses. Yeah, you, you might want to. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You was repping Dipset like you was. <clears throat> you might. You might just want to. Oh man, that one. That, you might want to let that one ride, hey, bro. What y'all, what y'all doing, man? What y'all let doing? That one ride. Yeah, but I said my A said I gotta watch it, man. I, I have to watch it for the culture, man. Okay. Look, now it didn't look like a movie though. That looked like a movie in in, in the garden, in the theater. In the oh, garden. it did. Mm-hmm. If I was it absolutely did, York, like I yeah. probably would have lost my mind. No, that was a moment. That was absolutely a moment. That was a moment for the culture. That was a moment for hip hop. That was huge. Yeah, that was huge. What you got going on this weekend, Damien? We're both going to be at the brunch on Sunday, but what, what you got going on, man? I'm checking my email. Apparently, I got a, three scripts to read by the end of the day. Balling. Where is it? Ain't that. Um, I'll be out on Sunday having a couple people over to t- uh, tomorrow. My uh, uh, my man, Coach Coach Kenny over at uh, Rockland, had right. a uh, – he turned – uh, he had a birthday a couple of days ago. So was that uh you were at his house that one day, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Notre Dame internet failed me and I had to <laughs> come back because Manny had taken care of me over here, but I didn't know if it would be done in time for the show. And then that was the birth of the computer uh uh not charging anymore. That that two days after have- I had moved in, that was that was the week from hell for sure. That we can have something else. There was an eight day stretch where I was just thinking, I don't need to do this anymore. I'm just, (laughs) I need to, I either need to call someone for help or just put myself out of my misery because this is, it just, it was just one thing on top of another. And every every 10 minutes, I kept pulling out the credit card for something new. Here, here, here's this, here's that. I had to to get, I I thought, you know, area rugs aren't cheap. Like no, like having area rugs around the house. The dogs sleep on my bed. Well, I didn't. Ha- th- th- I did never dawned on me with this different floor up here. They can't jump because they slip, so oh. they go to jump and they can't get on the bed. So I had to get the bathroom mat out. Oh, I had to pull the bathroom mat over so they could stand on Jeez. the bathroom mat and Poor jump girls. up to the bed. <laughs> I would wake up in the middle of the night hearing because Sprout tried to jump on the bed and didn't make it. So I had to get an area. I wasn't planning on getting another area rug. And of course, that's the best area rug that I got. Like you, I was ordering these from Wayfair because, mm-hmm. you know, Shout my sister, Wayfair. man, oh, my God. Yeah, so I was ordering them for and and when that rug came, unrolled it, got it set up. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is what I wanted the rug in the living room to feel like. Like, I just want to stand on it. It's like thick and oh, oh man, the one in the living room. It's nice. It looks perfect, but it doesn't feel like I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm. <sighs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need McQueen and Luke Belair to be around forever. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious, man! It's been a rough month. Hey, I'm, I'm thankful. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah. Thankful. Yeah. Yo, no, that's yeah, real. Bro. Of recoup like i was yeah that hour. i was like damn yeah yeah <laughs> gonna have to build back up <laughs> mm-hmm. yep do you used to do a podcast bill black has got a whole new meeting now <laughs> man yeah this was this moving is moving is tough man tough <laughs> tough tough not that i mean everybody in the chat know that i was uh there's See, like john has the same problem he can't jump <laughs> on his bed either there was a uh, a clip of like Jim Jones one day and he was like, yo, you know, I'm just a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I, we balling. Everything's good or whatever. Then, you know what I'm saying? Things get slow. I got to tell wifey, yo, we can't shop at Chanel this week. We can't shop at Gucci for about two, three months. We got to hold out, recoup so we can get back up to that spot. I feel like that, Jim Jones. I'm like, Jazz, we can't, <laughs> we can't shop at uh, Gucci. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> We can't shop at Amazon this week, man. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta stay off. Uh, we, we gotta stay off Wayfair. Oh, back up. 
somebody just where did it go? Oh, Damien all day. I didn't even is is that a thing that's starting? I like that. I hadn't even thought of that. Like like uh Roman and him? Yeah, you know she's uh old boy's wife. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Something something happened. I, I didn't see I, it. I, has week. it has that started or is that just your idea? Did I miss that? I'm with that. That's a good idea. Mm. If that's something that developed on Raw, I, I or which which I, would be dope, Smack, I, I, I didn't that see that. That's SmackDown. I missed that. Uh, but that's a great idea. Yeah, Casey can't shop anyways because <laughs> he's on restriction. <laughs> Jazz took all the credit cards. She deleted Apple Pay. I look. I, I locked Kenny's hey, computer. I, I get my shoes. I get whatever. You know, I ain't gonna front for y'all though. I better not come through the door with no shoes for a for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna front with you guys, man. I'm gonna keep it real. That, that might have been the one until. Until those patent leather uh, breads come out, I think they come out in October. Yeah. I think I'm. I just need to chill till then. All right, be on the low low. We appreciate y'all for another great week. Uh, we appreciate y'all uh, catapulting us past some milestones. Once again, man. Um, before we get out of here, GoCityCenter.com. If you're a phone guy, one eight six six Go City Six. That's one eight six six Go City Six. As for my guy, Sam, he's going to take care of you. And they bring you to post show, man. City Center Financial. We appreciate y'all, man. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And we'll see you here Monday at noon. Oh.